Hello, everybody. Welcome to Python for Everybody. We're playing with uh, the web services chapter right now. And um, if you want to get the materials uh, for this course, you can um, go here and download the uh, sample zip, sample code.zip. I've got this all sitting already on my computer. I also have the whole thing in GitHub if you want to get it out of GitHub. So the thing we're talking about now is we're talking about the JSON 1.py example from the book. And uh, so JSON is kind of like XML, except a lot simpler. Um, and that's why a lot of people like it. Uh, it's not that JSON is always better, but JSON is, is better in a lot of situations that don't require the complexity of XML. So we, we always we start to import JSON. JSON is built into Python, but we have to ask to import it. Again, we're using a triple quoted string to put the JSON in there. And JSON looks a lot like Python dictionaries, key value pairs, key value pairs. In this case, this is a key, and the value itself is another dictionary, or in uh, uh, JSON terms, an object. But again, key value pairs within key value pairs within key value pairs. And all these little cursor guys have to, uh, all these little curly brace guys have to line up properly. And so, uh, like all the time, this is... Uh, a string which we normally would read and decode from the internet but for now we're just going to have it in there load json.load s says go into the json library pull out load string and parse this which turns this set of curly braces spaces commas and perhaps syntax errors into a structured object and if we'd made a syntax error in here then this would blow up but if this doesn't make a syntax error if this doesn't blow up then we have a structured representation now, the difference between XML and, and Python, uh, JSON, is that this turns into a Python dictionary with key value pairs. Okay, and so once we have this, this is a dictionary. And we can say info subname, and that's the exact syntax that we would use to get the dictionary. And that's going to extract this value out of there. And if we want to go in deeper, we can say info sub email, and that's what info sub email is right there and then sub hide. So that's like, that's a dictionary within a dictionary. And so if we run this, python3 json1.py, it digs in really fast. And so this is why people tend to like JSON is because you read the JSON, which is actually a syntax derived from JavaScript, but it looks just like the syntax for a Python. So it's moving an ob that's moving an object a JSON object that turns in directly into a Python dictionary with nested dictionaries. Now we're going to look at JSON2. And so JSON2, we're going to see a list, or an array in JSON terms, but it turns into a list in Python terms. So this is a list of dictionaries. In JavaScript, that would be an array of objects, but in Python, it's a list of dictionaries. So we'll just pretend that it's a list of dictionaries. Again, we load the string parsing, looking for syntax errors. So let's just make a syntax error here and run uh, Python JSON2.py and you'll see where it blows up. It blows up at line 15, which is right here. It's like this load s blows up. Now you could put a try accept around it to save it, but we're not going to do that. And it e even complains. It says, look, we're expecting something here in line 11. And that's line 11 of the JSON, which starts at uh, uh, line 4. Um, and so I'll put my little square brace back in so it's not syntactically broken. So let's run it again and make sure that she runs, and yes, she does. So this parses it and converts from the JSON syntax into a Python, in this case, list, because it's got cur square braces instead of curly braces. The previous example had square braces. And we can then take a len of it, it's a, and it's an array, or it's a list, and we see that there are two things in there. And then we're going to iterate through, and this item is going to iterate through these dictionaries, that dictionary followed by that dictionary. So the first time, it's item sub name, which is this value right here, and then item sub ID, which is this value. So you can dig right into this, but you're using you're not using get, and you're not using the weird extra find or find all or anything. You just are going at these uh, structures directly. And so you can quickly extract this stuff out, and we read through ID is, uh, name is Chuck. Oops, name is Chuck. The, the no, there are no attributes, by the way. Uh, X is two, and, and so we had to make X 
So if you look at the XML, we had this concept of attributes on the outer tag. There, these things are also not named. We just have to know what we're looking for. So JSON represents simple structures, but it's all it's much simpler uh, to use. So I hope this has been uh, useful to you um, uh, and talk to you uh, in a bit about some more JSON.